Okay, hello everyone. Today we're gonna play the challenge Start the Clock. Cards with Countdown might appear inexpensive, but their effects take a few rounds to get going. Timing is essential. So, basically there's a new keyboard, Countdown. At round start, Countdown 1 at 0, destroy the card with Countdown and trigger the effect. So, it's just that you get a card and it will count down to zero and then it will have the effect. You can advance this uh, effect so the countdown goes faster. You'll see what I mean in a second. Hopefully. So, start the clock is it. Beautiful screenshot right here. Okay, play now. So, what do we gotta do? Countdown 1. Cards with Countdown have delayed effects. You have 3 rounds to win. So we got a Hibernating Rock Bear over here, which is a landmark, which uses normal mana, not spell mana. And it has the effect Countdown 3, Summon a Grumpy Rock Bear. So Countdown is explained here again at round start. I count down 1. At zero, activate the countdown effect, then destroy me. So, in three turns from now, you will summon a Grumpy Rock Bear, which is this five cost, five four attack. You won't have to pay the mana cost for this. So you pay only two mana, get this unit, but you will have to wait three turns. That's how it works. So we'll play it right now. You see the number 3 appearing here. We got to the next round, so we count, counted down 1. So it's at 2 right now. You can also see that over here. So right now we cannot do anything, so we're gonna pass. Okay, it counted down to 1. We still can't do anything. These are too expensive. We're gonna pass. And now. It obliterates or destroyed. The card gets destroyed, let's just say it like that. And uh, we get the sound effect. If we attack right now, it would only deal 5 damage, so you just have to put one of these down. And then you can just attack with both of them, and that will finish that first little thing. So, victory, good things come to those who wait. It's now gonna give us a second challenge. So, countdown 2. Some countdown cards have immediate effects when played. Use this to win next round. So, this card over here is also a landmark, also 2 mana. But um, when I'm summoned, draw 1. That's something that will always happen, so if you play this card, well, not play, but summon it, then it will give you the draw one. And at countdown two, it will be destroyed, and you will draw one more. So, that's how it works. You just play it right now. There you go. We will put this in front of that, but you see this as a life steal. So, he will heal up if we just block like that, and he will have 9 damage, which is gonna be too much. We got this Ancient Hourglass here, which will give you a landmark with Countdown. So, you obliterate an ally to summon a Stasis Statue in place with the ally stored inside. And the status statue is a landmark with countdown 1. Summon exact copies of the units and landmarks stored inside. So, if we block over here, because if we don't block, we die. See? Minus 4. So, if you have to block. But if you block, like this, he's gonna heal up, he's gonna have 9 health, and we're not gonna be able to win in 10. So, you also have to play this on your own ally. That way, this leaves something which cannot be attacked, he will just do nothing, and this will go over here, 
as you can see in a status statue. Next round, it will give you back the ground pair round pair, you can attack and you will win. So that's what you gotta do. So we'll repeat it, you put it in front of it, and then you play Ancient Hourglass on it. If you do that, like this, then you will see that it's a four for him and one for us. If you do it like this, you will lose. So make sure you put it in front of the Dark Water Scorch. Then block, and then just wait, pass. He's ephemeral as well, so it will die. We don't have to summon this, we can just attack now, and that's it. So make sure to block with it and use the spell on it. Remember to take advantage of the time you have. Okay, so it seems it's the third one. With another Dark Water Scorch. So countdown 3. Countdown can be paired with other cards to create a powerful combo. Use this knowledge to win next round. So we have to do this like that it's the same thing like we did before he's gonna die because of this ephemeral because he will not strike we will now put Talia down but Talia's effect is if you play summon an exact copy of an allied landmark so we are gonna copy this one and then we're gonna get two of those things grumpy bears that are in it so just play this we will make a copy, we need to win the next round, so we're gonna pass now. This ephemeral unit dies, and we get a bunch of units. If we only had these two, we wouldn't have been able to win, so that's probably your issue if you are having troubles with this. Um, so make sure that you duplicate it. Well, yeah, duplicate it, the, the stasis statue. So, and also make sure that you did block properly so he didn't heal up. Because if he would be at 15 health right now, you would still not be able to kill him. He would still have 2 health. It would be the same as if it was like this. So, if you do everything that I did, you are just gonna be able to attack here and win. So, victory, perfect timing can lead to victory. Well done. That's it. That's probably the only thing we got to do. Yep, there we go. What a great day. Victory. So, yeah. If you have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comments below. But um, you should be able to have completed this uh, start the clock challenge. So, hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Have a nice day. And see you later.